Okay, so I wanted to finish up with the operations of fractions, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and then there's also going to be dimensional analysis. So first thing we're going to talk about is adding fractions. And the first thing you have to do is you're going to have to find the common denominator, um, which we did last week where we found the LCD, the least common denominator. Once you find the common denominator, you have to find the new top number. Once you have the new fractions, you're going to add the top numbers and the bottom numbers stay the same. And at the end, you're going to write your answer as an improper fraction and a mixed number because on Evolve, you need to write both. Um, on a quiz, just pay attention to what it says. For an example problem, we have 2 thirds plus 1 ninth. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is find a common denominator. Um, we found the least common denominator last week where we took the largest number, the 9, and we found its multiples, so 9 times 1 was 9, and 3 does go into 9, so that is a least common denominator. Um, if you ever get stuck, the biggest problem for most people for adding and subtracting is having common denominators. So you can always take the two bottom numbers, the 3 and the 9, and multiply them together, and you would get 27. Um, that is a common denominator. You can use it. Um, the least common denominator would be 9. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use 27 because a lot of people, again, struggle with this. So if you can't find a common denominator, you take the two bottom numbers and you multiply them. So 9 times 3 is... 27. And then you say, okay, well, 3 times 9 gave me 27, so whatever you do to the bottom of the fraction, you do to the top. So 9 times 2 is 18. And then you say, okay, 9 times 3 was 27, so 1 times 3 is 3. Then you're going to add the top numbers, 18 and 3 is 21. And the bottom number stays 27. And then you have to simplify. Um, for this one, I'm going to divide both by, um, that's uh, the quickest way would be, I think, uh, 3. Let's see. So if I divided both by 3, 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. So the final answer would be 7 ninths. For another one, let's do 4 elevenths and 3 fourths. So um, the least common is 44, um, but the easy way is you take the both bottom numbers, the 4 and the 11, and you multiply them together, and you get 44. Now you need to find the new top numbers. So you say, okay, 11 times 4 gave me the 44. So whatever you do the bottom, you do the top. So 4 times 4 is 16. At the bottom, you say, okay, uh, 4 times 11 was 44. So 3 times 11 is 33. So now you're going to add the top numbers. 6 and 3 is 9. 1 and 3 is 4. So I have 49 oops, over 44. On Evolve, this will be an answer. Um, you will also need on Evolve where it says choose, select all that apply. You'll also need to um, change it to a uh, mixed number, which we did last week, which was 49 divided by 44, or the way I say it in class is 44 goes into 49 one whole time. And you get 44, so you get 5 left over, and the bottom number is 44. Um, if you can't remember how to change an improper to a mixed number, you need to go back and review the notes from last week. Okay, so adding mixed numbers. Um, basically, if you can add a mixed number, or add a fraction, you can add a mixed number. The only difference is step four, where you're going to add the whole number. So you're going to keep them separate. So if I had, um, let's say, five and two-thirds plus one and one-ninth, you're going to follow the exact same process, and you're going to do the fractions at the end, or sorry, the whole number at the end. So I have a 3 and a 9, so I'm going to use 9 as my bottom number, because that is the least common. 
If not, you could have multiplied 3 times 9 and got 27. Um, so 3 times 3 is 9. So whatever you do the bottom of the fraction, you do to the top. So 2 times 3 is 6. So this was 9 times 1, so 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so now we're just going to add the top number. 6 and 1 is 7. Bottom number stays the same. And then you just add the whole numbers. Um, since this one is left as a mixed number, um, usually we would leave it like that. But if they did say, um, you know, select all that apply, select all, um, you would also want to change that to an improper fraction where you would multiply then add. The bottom stays the same. So 9 times 6 is 54 plus 7. Hold on, i got to add that. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61. I think that's 61. Again, we all use our fingers sometimes if we need to. Okay, so for if it's on Evolve, you'll probably need to select both. Okay, when you add mixed numbers, here's another one, 4 and 2 fifths, 3 and 3 sevenths. So the least common is 35, and the way I got that was I actually just multiplied 5 times 7 and 35. So, sorry, if you hear the little ball in the background, I've got the kitties playing with the little toy. <laughs> So, sorry, Robbie's sitting here too. So, so here I've got 5, and I say 5 times 7 was 35, so I say, okay, 2, hold on, 2 times, that's a time, sorry guys, it's a mess. 2 times 7 is 14, and then down here I did 7 times 5 is 35, so 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, so I'm going to add the two numbers together. Uh, since I have the whole new fraction, I'm going to add the top. 5 and 4 is uh, 9. 1 and 1 is 2. So I have 29 over 35. And then add the whole number. So 4 and 3 is 7. If they do say select all that apply, you would go ahead and change this. And I'm going to have to actually add these up. So actually, I don't have to do the math big time on this one. So. I'm going to use it. Usually, if it's on a quiz, it won't be this evil. So for this one, you would take 35 times 7, and that's huge. I got 245, and then add the 29. So for an improper, it would be 274 over 35. I don't think you have any even that big on your um, Evolve account. Okay, so now we're going to subtract fractions. It's the exact same thing you did a minute ago, except for instead of adding the top numbers, you're going to subtract them. So let's say I had 3 fourths minus 1 sixth. Okay, you need a common denominator. Uh, the least common is 12, because um, you take the 6 and you say 6 times 1 is 6. And 4 can't go into 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 4 can go into 12. So 12 is the least common. If you struggle with finding the least common, you could always take the 4 and the 6 and multiply them. And you could have used 24. The only difference is you would have had to simplify again at the end or simplified possibly more. So now I'm going to find the top number. So 4 times what is 12? So I get 4 times 3. Whatever I do the bottom of the fraction, I do the top, so I multiply by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Down here, I'm going to do 6 times 2 was 12, so 1 times 2 is 2. So since we're subtracting, the only difference is now we're going to subtract 9 minus 2 and get 7, and the bottom number stays 12. Okay. Subtracting with mixed numbers, um, in this class, you will not have to borrow. Um, so the only extra step here is to subtract the whole number at the end. Um, so for our practice problems, we have 5 and 2 sevenths and minus 1 and 1 14th. Okay. 
Now you could multiply these together, but it's going to be large. So the trick for the least common was to take the biggest number, 14, and say 14 times 1 is 14. Can 7 go into 14? And yes, it can. So that is our least common. So you say 7 times 2 is 14. So 2 times 2 is 4. At the bottom, 14 times 1 is 14, so 1 times 1 is 1. You're just going to subtract the, to whole the top numbers. 4 minus 1 is 3. The bottom number stays 14. And then you subtract the whole numbers. 5 minus 1 is 4. And it's, if, it does say, say, if it does say select all that apply, you'd have to change.